welcome, 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 welcome again, my viewers than my subscriber to this channel, Life with Jennifer, JM, and I am your girl, Auntie Jane, and my people, uh-huh, a -huh. breaking news, what if I this now? So, finally, Paula Lewin, step away. She finally step away because she realized that she listen, so she step away. So we must say, at least, thanking Mrs. I don't know if she's mistress, Miss Paula Lolin. We can't even call her name good enough. But, and then they say, our acting DPP will be named tomorrow, Monday. Amidst growing confusion around the status of, the status of the Director of Public Prosecution, Following last week's ruling by the Constitutional Court, Paula Lulin has decided to stay away from the office of the DPP starting Monday. In a statement issued early today, the Attorney General Office disclosed that due to the ambiguity and the consequential uncertainty arising from the court judgment, Ms. Lulin has advised that she is unable to carry out the function of her office at this time. So she said at this time. So maybe if when they go to court and if they rule in, if they appeal and they win the court, then maybe. But I would just advise them, just put the case, just put the tourist. Just look, Mr. Chuck, and the government. And I just left the thing alone, man. And I, and I stop it, man. Stop it. Just make she said she step aside, just love the woman about to put the woman back in. Cause the thing about it too. She only have one year left by enemy. What about something she can't do so much? Unless she ever get all the way she had to do it at one time. Or I don't know. It can't work. So she's not going back tomorrow. So that's number one. So. So the statement from the Attorney General and the Director of Public Prosecution for immediate release. Due to the ambiguity and consequential uncertainty arising. As I read it before. I put it up. You read it, right? Uh, so that is one part of the story. That is number one of the story. So back to the cleaning house in back to the house of cleaning in the Jamaica Labour Party. I don't know which one I house them at if I the Belmont Road or which one. But anyway, this news I know is this news of Robert Morgan. Robert Morgan. Nesta Morgan as you know him. He has resigned. I wonder if I resign, he really resign or then just put he has resigned. Can you know them people I say, remember when one me did come out and chat different for me, say. But anyway, anyway, him say he resigned from being the public. Um he won't be the spokesperson no more. So he resigned from that. And then Omar Davis too. Them not gonna use Omar Davis, all of that. Remember back on the year when they have to say, because boy, a whole heap of news over here, so you know. Listen to this. New appointments and reshuffling. All highlights from the Jamaica Labour Party's first central executive meeting since the February 26th local government election. Drawing attention was the unexpected resignation of Robert Morgan as head of the party's public relations committee. No confirmation yet for his reasons, and it's understood the party is yet to identify a successor for this pivotal role. Alongside Morgan, the party's two deputy general secretaries have vacated their posts. We have Deputy General Secretary Audley Gordon, who would have demitted office today, as well as Homer Davis. Uh, they are replaced by Charles Sinclair, Senator Charles Sinclair, and Senator Delroy Williams. That's Dr. Andre Franklin, the party's deputy chairman. He also advised the CVM News that Darl Vaz, who already heads a ministry in charge of the four portfolios and is member of parliament for rural West Portland, is to head the party's treasury, replacing Senator Aubin Hill, Minister of Industry, Investment and Commerce. We made an addition to the secretariat uh, where we have now uh, Senator Aubin Hill that will be joining the secretariat. The treasury, we thanked our treasurer who worked uh, very diligently meticulously the last election, uh, Aubin Hill, uh, and he's replaced by, you know, um, 
member parliament, Darrell Vaz. Dr. Franklin says members of the party's central executive on Sunday voted unanimously for the changes. But what exactly prompted the reorganization? Uh, the time, the time of our officers are required to be on the ground to get things done. Uh, there are some, there are some areas where the synergy, the natural synergy, um, is easier than 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 in, in other areas for other persons. So the best skill sets were put to the test today, and the meeting voted unanimously to make the necessary changes. What the general secretary, Dr. Horace Chang, sought to add is that now both his deputies sit in the nation's upper house of parliament. The meeting of the central executive lasted just a few hours, with party leader Andrew Holness arriving minutes before 1 p.m. and leaving mere minutes after 2. The deputy chairman assures there is no friction in the party and labels the meeting as a good one. So today was a very uh, good, day. good day, a day that we analyze all the factors and we are now uh, even more united, more dedicated to make the necessary changes a reality. So there you have it, my viewers and subscribers and my friends um, about the GLP meeting and some of the changes that has been made. So, them not really change out the people them who run for MP and all of that yet. So, that will be. But if you notice what the reporter was saying, that Andrew Olness came after one and leave after two. So, I'm not staying at the meeting. So that could have never been. Neither his wife not turn up at the meeting neither. So how can them come out? You say, or is trying to make sure the man at about it was good. Just for diversity. It couldn't be good. It couldn't be good when you also lock out um the agriculture minister before Andrew did come there. So wanna come on the surface at that about me. No, 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 I want everybody for know what I want, but we're not fool. It not it's not no business as usual, man. It's not all that as you know, I try to make it look. So my queer Mr. Chucky I say no. Mr. Chucky may come out with him big talk about oh it will be business as usual you know I listened to one attorney was talking and he said he think Mr. Chucky just saying that because of embarrassment and it is true it is true he came out and said that out of embarrassment it would have been no business as usual can I tell you, you know, all eyes was looking out for this you know all eyes was looking out for this one so Mr. Chuck why? Whether you want to accept it or you don't want to accept it. I don't accept it, I don't want to accept it. But the truth is, the opposition win, you know. And the opposition was watching, you know. If they make no move, you know. I miss, I think, miss, I, the, the, the lady wouldn't be so stupid still, you know. Because she could have never be working with law. And I know that if she did go into that office tomorrow, that she wouldn't be arrested. And, and, I, think she, and I think her family would also... She must have some support in family. She must have some support. I think I heard she said once she has, um, you can correct me on that. I think she have two, two children. I think she, I think, I was listening to an interview with her one. I don't so remember, but you can remind me on that. But she must have brother and sister and family, and cousin and uncle and auntie, and maybe mother and father still alive. I don't know. That's somebody I will call her and say, Paula, come out of this mess. You don't need to be into this mess. Come out of this mess now. Come out of this mess, father. Somebody have to tell her that. Somebody have to tell her that. So, somebody have to tell her that, man. Yeah, man. So now, <laughs> now when you want to sweet me still, you know, the, the, the maga and him, you know. Remember, you know, me remember when the election around and show one and council and him have a problem. I forget for him now. And him talk about, oh, not under my dead body while I am MP for this year. He can win. And the man win. The man win. So Robert Morgan has resigned as the head of the Jamaica Labour Party Public Relations Committee. It was announced some hours ago at the party central executive meeting held at their headquarters on Belmont Road in St. Andrews. So the question I want to ask, it was announced. That mean him never turn up at the meeting. Then Joe gave Joe. Her. Before the meeting start, I understand that they some of them were locked into a meeting. I mean, and um where agriculture minister one him name. No one there, forget for him name. But them never put him in at the meeting. So him not in at the meeting for nowhere gone until when Andrew come and they, and let in Andrew, then then him go in. So I, I pay animosity up there. We see this man come out and tell, oh, everything is okay and all of that. No, 
because they still not decide on who going to run back from member of parliament because the argument, the situation get heated. So they still not decide who they are going to drop back. So you know, I'm going to keep one another meeting again. So we are going to follow everything, my viewers and my subscribers. So as the news then come and as me hear more, because I'm going to hear more. Don't worry, I'm going to hear what I'm up in there. I'm going to make a note. So guess what? For now, and I see how I dress up. Yeah, man. Me, I'm going to get a little revival in my soul, you know. I must apply to the blood of Jesus to get a revival in my soul. So, I will catch you now again next time, alright? And take care of yourself. And I'm going to pray for Jamaica too. Yeah. Bye.